agency um, currently offer to the Valley community? Well, Liz, we have a variety of different programs that we offer. Naturally, being uh, the YMCA, we have swimming pools. We have swimming lessons for all ages, from infants to active older adults. We have uh, adult and adult lap swimming. We have a health and wellness center that offers many different programs, um, including physical fitness classes um, and exercise components. We have after school child care in Shelton, Derby, in Ansonia, and before school. We're very excited about opening up our new child care center. And that is at 32 Howard Avenue. We'll have infant care, toddler care, and uh, preschool care from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. So we're really excited and hope to open at the end of August for that program. Um, in addition, we have uh, youth basketball leagues, karate classes, um, health and fitness classes, as I mentioned earlier, uh, summer camp program, as we can hear the children in the background in the other room, um, serving, again, children from the entire Valley community. Um, what would you say sets you apart from different agencies? Well, we service all ages, um, and we try to provide and build strong kids, strong families, and strong communities. We can help individuals um, where values um, driven organization, where caring, respect, honesty, and responsibility are important in everything that we do. And we hope that not only do our staff um, follow those values in everything they do, but also that the members that participate do as well. What else do you think the public doesn't know about you, or what would you Well, like? I'm very excited, as I mentioned, about the opening of a new child care center. But one other thing that we just kicked off on August 1st was income-based membership. And what that is, it's based on a sliding scale. It's membership for all, so that everyone has the opportunity to help and have the uh, privileges of participating in the YMCA membership and program. We actually have it where it's based on a sliding scale, and based on their income is what they pay. We have a regular posted rate. We still have financial assistance, but those leases for the individuals that might be in the, um, you know, be making up to sixty thousand dollars, and really don't, you know, need financial assistance, but really need some support in order to be able to um, have the privilege of using the Valley YMCA. And as we know, with the tough economic times, whatever we can do to give more people the exposure to having fun times as a family, um, we encourage that. Um, what many people may not know is we have members in residence um, that we have gentlemen that actually live here at the Y. Um, and they, we have 29 rooms, and um, they call this their home, and we help to serve the much needed service in the community. Um, one other thing that people might not know about is the Valley YMCA Merge, which is the Central Connecticut Coastal YMCA, um, early this year. And uh, we're now their 12th branch. And as a member of the Valley YMCA, individuals can use any of uh, other branches. So if you're a member of the Valley Y, you can actually use any of those other facilities. Oh, that's great. With all of these programs you have to offer, I'm sure you use volunteers? Um, we certainly do. As many other nonprofits, we actually have a board of directors, so we have policy volunteers. Um, and also we have program volunteers, individuals that actually help to run programs. Um, what challenges do you um, feel that you face concerning volunteers? With volunteers, um, the, I guess the challenge is to um, be able to recognize them and to show our appreciation of the value that they have. Um, now, how do you um, attract new volunteers? Well, um, I know that there is volunteer solutions. You do, great. But, um, I'm not sure that the public knows as much about it as uh, we would hope to you know, have that. And we have had a few individuals who have joined us as a, as a, a from volunteer. Um, some we actually recruit, sometimes they come within our membership. We could probably do a better job of um, seeking out volunteers as well. Um, do you currently feel a need for new volunteers? Um, we always can use volunteers, as I said, um, not only for the programs, for board of directors, but we also can use volunteers to help at special events. What about youth volunteers, maybe children ages 12 to 15? Do you have any positions available for youth? Um, again, depending on what their interests, we try to find a match of what would work best for them. This summer, we have a summer camp, as I mentioned to you, and we have a leaders in training and counselors in training where those in that particular age group, I think they have to be at least 13 or 14, would be participating in that. And that's a great experience because they're treated like employees and they're responsible to fill out all the paperwork, go through the interview process, and have tasks that they need to accomplish in a given day, but they get experience working with children. I know other people, children sometimes have to um, do community service hours for confirmation or for school and get credits, so we would welcome them to come again if they have a specific interest that can be a good match and a good fit for them. Okay, great. Um, do you provide these volunteers with any form of training? Or? 
Um, certainly, that's a requirement that training volunteers, just like staff, are required to have training hours. Um, and they have to do uh, comparable training, which we have sexual harassment training, um, child abuse training, um, and if it's specific to a class, we recommend that they get training and service trainings if they're doing lifeguarding or um, some of the other programs as well. Okay, great. Um, what kind of support are you looking um, for from maybe Valley United Way or the community? Well, I think that continued support that we have in, in, in engagement and participating in activities, that's important. Um, they're a great spokesperson for the agencies, and um, we want to keep that relationship as it has been you know, growing for the last uh, as long as the United Way has been in existence. I think. Who should volunteers contact or anybody interested in being Presently, they can contact any staff member that they know. They're welcome to call me, but we have Colleen Danahan, who is the administrative assistant, is a contact person here at the Valley YMCA. Is there a phone number for Yes, the Valley YMCA number is 736-9622, which is YMCA. Um, and Colleen's extension is 308. Um, how and why did you um, become involved with this agency? Um, well, I started out when I was six months old. I was in Water Babies, and and then my mom ended up, she started working here as a preschool teacher, and then I went to the preschool and went on from there, and then I started doing the school team at the age of nine, and then from there I went on, and now I'm working here. Okay, great. Um, what's your experience like working here? Um, it's amazing. I, I know everybody, I talk to everybody. Um, would you like to go into detail about what you do right now? You're a lifeguard here? I'm a lifeguard. Uh, I basically wash the pool and clean up the pool to make sure everything, everyone is safe and that nothing bad happens in the water or around the, on the deck and everything. Okay. Um, do you feel you were adequately trained for this? I was trained, yes, to be a lifeguard and a swim instructor. Um, I can, I've been certified in CPR and everything else. Would you recommend working here? I would recommend this to anybody who yeah. loves, you have, to, you have to enjoy working here to do it because you can't just get up and say, oh, I don't want to do this because then it's not fun. Right. 